welcome to my channel. Um, anyway, uh, what can I say? I mean, it's really uncertain times at the moment, um, and I'm just, I guess, everyone's taking it day by day. Um, it's really confusing what's going on right now, especially in Melbourne. Um, you know, uh, last night we got told that we might have to go into stage four lockdown, so I'm not sure if the retail stores or anything will be open or um, we might just go outside for a very small amount of time in the day we will obviously always have to wear masks and masks and things so yeah it's, it's a bit weird and um, I think if we do go into stage 4 lockdown um, I'm not I'm gonna be honest I'm a bit worried about I don't know how, how it's going to be at my work and um, how how things are going to operate and it's just even I mean nobody really knows what's going to happen so I'm just trying to think of like what I can do in the future like probably I'll probably focus more on making YouTube videos and doing more creative things I guess focus on my mental health um, and um, try and just stay healthy, I guess. Just look after myself. That's all we all can really do. It's look after ourselves and try not, to, you know, social distancing and, and all that. But anyway, um, I, f I found that, um, yeah, since, since this whole corona thing, I feel like I've been shopping for luxury bags more than ever. And I, will, I haven't been... A, addicted to buying luxury bags for maybe a two years but, but this year I've just been buying and selling up and I think it's because it's something to distract myself and anyway I just wanted to show you guys a bag that I bought on eBay and I did make a video recently saying how you know you got to be careful about eBay you can get a lot of fake bags and whatnot but I have found a few gems on eBay for reasonable prices, one of them being um, my Louis Vuitton denim bag. I got this for quite a reasonable price. I actually can't remember what it was, but I remember I bought it and I was like, eh, not bad. I'm going to say it was about 500 or so for something like this, and it's quite a, a useful bag. Um, you know, and it's kind of cool. Um, it, it's trendy, but I think it is like a little piece of Louis Vuitton history as well. And I've also bought like my Wapiti case on eBay as well as this little heart. Now these I don't really reach for a lot. I have considered selling them. So um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, they are cute. I, I, I don't have sold a lot of my SLGs. So I feel like if I do sell all my SLGs, I might regret it. So, and okay, my most recent purchase on eBay is a Dior bag. So I have never bought a Dior bag before. Um, I do have two Dior t-shirts which I got from Japan um, and I bought those in consignment stores and I feel like they're from around the same era as this bag. Oh, sorry if they're a bit dirty. <laughs> I do wear them but this is an early 2000s Dior t-shirt. Um, and it's you know got some interesting illustration on it um, and yeah I think I think I purchased this for uh, well under a hundred dollars so it was pretty good price for a Dior um, and then the second Dior item that I ever bought was this Dior tank which I have never worn but it says J'adore Dior <clears throat> so I haven't really watched many episodes of Sex and the City but I know Sarah Jessica Parker or Carrie wears like a Shador Dior t-shirt and that kind of revived that style for people recently because it was very nostalgic but anyway I thought this one was really cool there was also a really cool one with the Trotter print on it and I, I don't know why I didn't buy that but that was also a really good bargain I think I was just trying to like limit how much I was buying and at the back it says that so that's really cool too so these were second hand they were my only dual pieces but now I have this bag so I will show you what it is um it's this mini Boston bag um and yeah there is some damage on it so I was trying to think of what I could do to kind of restore it and the first thing I did when I got this is see saw what it looked like with my pom-pom because I had to just see what charms would look good on it. 
Um, but then I also um, I took out the lining and I gave it a good clean with some soapy water and I also cleaned the zipper so now it's a lot more white and from my research I think this bag kind of was released around 2003 and it's from like the girly line so there's this like whole range of pink kind of monogram Dior bags and also there's a baby blue colorway and that kind of colorway um, it was pretty much just, I think, exclusive to like the early 2000s. I have seen this bag in a burgundy kind of Dior monogram print as well, and also a navy blue. And I love those as well because they look a lot more modern, modern and current because Dior still do like the, the blue oblique old Schroeder print and the, the, the burgundy. So I really, I was actually really looking for those. But then when this one popped up on Australian eBay, um, I jumped on it because the, the burgundy one I wanted, um, it was, I saw them listed for a bit over a thousand dollars and then I found this one on Versatair Collective in navy blue and it was, with all the taxes and stuff, it was like 1,500 and I just didn't want to pay that much for a, a vintage bag. This one I got for 450 Australian dollars, which I think is pretty good actually. So this one, it, it's 20 centimeters across, so it's kind of, I think, comparable to a Speedy 20. Um, if I show you guys compared to the Speedy 25, um, yeah, I think this is kind of a cute alternative if you're looking for like a Louis Vuitton Speedy 20 or something. This is just like the Dior version. I know Fendi also has a similar Boston bag style and there's also, you know, Gucci does, has their own variation of bowling bags or Boston bags. But I think the Dior one is actually really sweet and yeah, it's my first Dior bag. I actually would really love a mini Lady Dior one day as well, but um, I'm looking for a good bargain on the pre-love market. Probably won't buy one anytime soon because, yes, I've gone crazy late recently, so, but... Yeah, I really liked this one. It didn't come with the lock, so the lock is just kind of stuck on there. There is some wear just on the piping here. So I bought some like white leather paint just to touch up the, the piping a little bit. Because I don't really want to take it to the bags, but I think that's going to add a lot of cost to the bag. Um, and the leather paint was only like $20, so I'm just going to touch it up a bit because... I don't know, I don't really plan to resell this, I just want to kind of use it because I think it's really cute. And it kind of matches like, imagine this outfit guys, like, so Dior. <laughs> yeah, and it's really cute. Um, and this is like the Nano Speedy compared to the, the, the Dior, the Mini Dior Boston. And I mean, what a collection. So, um, I know this Boston bag also comes in a bigger size. Um, and I think there's even a larger size. So when you're looking for these on eBay, um, check the measurements because if it's the 20 centimeter one, it will be this one. But I think there's one that's also like a 25 centimeter one and that one will be like the bigger version. But definitely my favorite size is the miniest one, you know. Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for a really cute like vintage speedy like looking bowling bag um look at the Dior's because it's I think they're gonna really kind of come back in fashion I wouldn't be surprised if like Dior kind of reissues it later and I mean the pink is pretty cute so it's definitely a very early 2000s vibe but if you find the navy blue oblique one um some have gold hardware and I think they look really expensive so yeah Anyway, uh, what do you guys think of my new bag? Uh, maybe I'll show you uh, later what it looks like with the leather paint. I'll just try it, touch it up, or just do a bit of a DIY. Okay, so I can see there's a bit of wear here. And I got this leather paint. It's white acrylic leather paint. So I don't, I'm not going to use this on the patent. Oh, well, this actually is patent leather on the side, but it's really worn down it doesn't really look like it's lost it's lost us so I'm sure usually if you take this to a bag spa they would probably fill it in with something and then paint over it oh my gosh I don't actually think this is gonna work I'm just gonna try this a little bit just to touch it up a bit I'm 
I'm just gonna get in the, the really obvious area. It just might disguise it slightly. Because the thing is, this is quite old. So it's discolored. The, the white is not white anymore. It's kind of like a cream. So this leather paint might not actually match. It's too white. But I'm just going to fill in this little gap here anyway because it's just a bit less obvious. Yeah, it helped a little bit. Just cracks. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I just heard that all retail is closing. So, yeah. That's that, guys. Guess I'm just going to be doing some DIYs at home. Like this. It's Jessie's bag spa, I think. So you can see that's the bad bit there. And I've just, it was similar over here, but I've just kind of patched it up a little bit because... It's not as noticeable now anyway. It's got all the cracking down there. It's kind of annoying, but some of the vintage ones I see have cracking down here, which is a bit harder to disguise, I think, because it's right on the front. The piping, I think, I can slightly disguise. filled it in a bit but still looks a bit crap don't know what I can do about that maybe one day I will take it to the back spa to fix the piping but from afar you can't see it right <laughs> so I'm just going to I may as well commit to it I'm just going to continue down the slide here to dry now I kind of have pain on my hands but yeah thanks for watching my video um and watching me trying to uh kind of repair my bag well <laughs> I think it will do I mean it's not the best but it's definitely kind of improved those little um wacky corners that it had that was all kind of chipping out and flaking off so I just kind of prevented it from like flaking but the rest of the bag looks pretty good so yeah thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye